Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful Acatenango. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors, and welcome back to Antigua, Guatemala. If you tuned in last week, you got to explore this beautiful colonial city with us. Well, this week we are going on an adventure and I hope you're ready because it's gonna be a crazy one. I am attempting to climb this volcano right here, Volcan Acatenango. It is joined with Volcan Fuego right over here, which is one of three active volcanoes here in Guatemala. And is one of the main reasons people do this hike is to get up close and personal with that volcano. Maybe we'll even get to see an eruption. Ooh. And I'll be honest, I am very nervous. Volcano Catenango sits at an elevation of 3,976 meters, making it the third highest volcano in Central America. It also has an elevation gain of 1,500 meters. So you're dealing with that physical aspect as well as altitude. Which is why I'm not gonna be joining this yeah. adventure today because I get pretty sick when I get up to really high altitudes and I'm exerting my so, yeah. but I know you got this, Aww, babe. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're really gonna miss you. But I know you're gonna be here cheering me on and you're gonna be right there with me the entire way. So yeah, <laughs> excited, <laughs> nervous. Let's do this. Let's go get our stuff and hit the road, see if our ride is here. While I'm waiting for them to arrive, I just wanted to mention there are a lot of wonderful tour operators here in Antigua, but I chose to go with V Hiking as the reviews online just kind of drew me in. They're very positive and they're a family run business. As always, we love to support local. It looks like they are coming. Yay. Buenos dias. Si. Bye, babe. Have such a great hike. I love you. We have made it. We are in San Jose Calderas, which is where Alvin, the founder of this company of V Hiking, his mother lives here. So we are gonna head in and have a traditional breakfast with her. And that's an, what I loved about this company is he started it to support the community here, which is just awesome. So yeah, looks like we already have some wonderful weather for today. Very excited. <laughs> Hola, buenos dias. So yeah, let's head in. Look at here, they have a turkey. <laughs> oh my goodness, they even have puppies. We just finished our breakfast. It was a typical Guatemalan breakfast cooked by Alvin's mother. This is his mother, Rosa, and she has just made us this amazing breakfast. Muchas gracias. And I also got to meet some other people that are doing the hike, which was great. If you don't have your own warm clothing, just keep in mind that it gets really cold up there at night. If you don't want to buy any, they do rent some here. So I just rented some gloves and a jacket. And then they also rent walking sticks, which I heard are really nice to have especially on the way down as it is really steep the whole way we're gonna be climbing straight up so imagine coming down you can put these you know into the ground and really help you help with stability same way going up so definitely recommend renting some hiking sticks well it is about time to go hola buenos dias it's about time to go they said we have five more minutes I'm definitely feeling a lot better since I met a couple of friends and yeah, just like the nerves are wearing off a bit and I'm just more excited and happy you're here with me. So let's get in that van and head to that volcano. <laughs> Looks like we have made it to the starting point. What a beautiful view. All right, it is time. They just said, vamos, vamos, let's go. We got our bag. It's feeling pretty heavy. I'm gonna have to drink some water to get rid of some weight, but whew, we're starting. We're starting here at 2,400 meters. So we got 1,500 meter elevation gain over five hours. Let's do it, baby. Here we go. Here we go, <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Just a couple steps into this. Already tired, oh my gosh. This 
gonna be something else. It's gonna be great though. And the official time right now is 9.19. So we shall see what time we make it up there. It's not a race though. You can see right there, that's Dell. He's nine years old and he's going up with his parents. They're from Brazil. So you can hire a horse if you'd like. Whew. I kinda wish I would've done that and I'm not gonna lie. All right, we have made it to like our first real plan stop. We're about 30 minutes in. And when everybody got here, they just put their stuff down, sat down and taking big breaths, peeling their clothes off, drinking a lot of water. That was steep all the way uphill. My heart is absolutely pounding. You know that feeling you get in your throat and like it's cold and it's like the phlegm and like metallic tasting. That's what it is right now. But yeah, it's beautiful. We're at this little stop right now where you can grab some snacks, it looks like, water, get some Oreos, get some fuel in you. And before we get back to the hike, just so you know, they do have bathrooms here at the, this first stop. They are five quetzales, and they have a place here where you can wash your hands as well, and they do provide toilet paper. So always go to the bathroom when you can. All right, let's do this. I'm seeing some people come back from, they must have went on the hike yesterday. They're coming back. They're looking very tired. It's gonna be us tomorrow. All right. It's time to get back on our trail. Let's go blaze it, baby. And as we're hiking this morning, we're going past all these fields. And I believe it's maize. So it's really nice. The environment is kind of changing up on us right now as we get higher in altitude. And we are sharing the trail with the hikers that went up yesterday and they're coming down. Looks like they survived. <laughs> so that's a good sign. Hola. 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 <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna need it. <laughs> Everyone's alive though. Yeah. Survived. It was great. It was great. Yeah. Awesome. That was nice seeing the people come down, you know, supporting us, saying that we got it. Some were already having their celebratory beer. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. We are now going up some steps. <laughs> And this guy that just went down, this lady asked. <laughs> How was your hike? Uh, better now, I know it's almost over. And everyone was like, what? <laughs> Thanks for that, whoa, whoa. Yeah, see that, you gotta watch where you're stepping. It is quite slippery, I wish I had hiking boots. Harder going down or up? Uh, down. Down, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we made it, that much closer. Yay. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> we just finished up at our second stop. We are an hour and ten into it, so we're getting there. We also had a cute little dog here to share it with. And yeah, everybody seems to be in pretty good spirits. It's so pretty. We just got up here and the vegetation has all changed. You see we're kind of like in a forest right now. Hold on. You want to see us? Okay, we have made it to the entrance. All right, it looks like we have to register. Stop number three already. I love all these little breaks. They are so welcomed. It's kind of funny because we were just down there and I saw a sign that said Entrada, which means entrance. And I was like, wait, didn't we already enter this place? But no, I guess not. We are now officially on the mountain. So we had to register here and then we got this little bracelet and our registration was actually paid through V Hiking. So they handled all, they handled all of that. But yeah, we're just feeling up a bit more and then we're gonna get back on the trail. Oh. What is the dog's name? Tarzan. 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 Oh, he's got a little name. limb. Yeah, what happened, my friend? And this is Juan Pablo. I oh. just met him. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he's a guide. He does freelancing here. So maybe when you come on the mountain, you'll get to have him as your guide. He's very nice. And he also said that we're going to get great weather, right? Of course. And he said the volcano is erupting quite wow. a lot. I love it. Okay, so yay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and we are off once more. Here we go. Enjoying your beer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And if you choose to do this hike, make sure to take some time. I know your head's going to be down a lot, but to pick it up and just enjoy the natural beauty around you. These trees are like covered with moss and they are gorgeous. But as we are struggling a bit, I can only wonder what Adam's up to right now. I'm just picturing him like spread out in bed or getting a massage or a pedicure, just really enjoying this time off. <laughs> Missy babe. Oh, a dog's life. <laughs> You're launching for the rest of us. And I'm not gonna lie, this is very hard. We had some people tell us that it was quite easy, but I knew they were lying. 
um, there are some steps that they cut into the trail. So it's a lot less dangerous in some parts. So you don't slip, but just take it slow. Like I've been saying, but yeah, just know this is no walk in the park. We're about two hours into it right now. My legs are killing me. I definitely was not prepared for this. How are you feeling? <laughs> okay. I'm so tired. This is my friend Vanessa. She's from Brazil. Brazil. Hi. She's very tired too. I know. Is it harder than you thought? Must have difficile? Yeah. Yeah. We're back in this little forest area and it's shaded quite a little bit, which is so nice. Cool off. I couldn't record for that little bit. That was the hardest part so far. I've been, yeah, struggling quite a little bit, but we're getting there. And the view is beautiful. This is Benjamin, it's one of our guides we just reached. Is this stop number four, right? Yeah. And he said this is the last place. The, for buy something over here. Yeah. To buy some beer. Beer. Watermelon, ron, gatorade, water, whatever you Some want. Some rum, so, yeah. <laughs> so stock up now. Yeah. Thanks, Benjamin. I'm gonna come over here and hang with my dogs <laughs> and take a load off. Oh my goodness. This feels so good, but it's always so hard when you rest and then when you get back up to go, I feel like my legs are absolutely frozen. So getting back in it is difficult, but you gotta take breaks. Also brought my own snacks here and I got some, what do I have here? Some cashews. I also got some almonds. I brought steak. We had steak last night. So I brought my extra steak and some chocolate as well. Thanks so much for coming along again. If you are enjoying this so far, please, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that big thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Could you do this hike or are you just, are you happy you're at home on your couch just watching me suffer? <laughs> Either way, thanks so much for being there. All right, we are back on the trail and they just said we have an hour up and then 45 minutes flat. So we're getting there. Woo we have made it to the end of the road. The sign here says Fin del Camino. And I'll be honest, we made it up here about 10 minutes ago and I almost collapsed. I felt like I was gonna have a panic attack and I'm not, you know, I'm just being truthful here. It was really, really hard that last little bit there. And if you stuck with me the whole time and listened to me trying to catch my breath, I really appreciate you. While we're getting there, I just wanted to mention just a lesson that popped into my mind that, you know, a lot of times in life, we let fear stop us from accomplishing our goals or even letting us start to do things that we really want to. A saying I learned way back was fear is the enemy of progression. And it really is, if you let that fear take hold, it will and it's gonna stop you from even trying or being able to do a lot of these things, even your dreams. And you don't wanna grow old and know that you didn't accomplish those things that you really wanna do because you were scared. It's okay to be scared. I'm gonna cry. I was scared, I was scared of failure, but you know what? We did it and we did it together and I didn't let that fear take over. And look where we are <laughs> and we accomplished something together so never give up on yourself always push through you can do it you can do anything you put your mind to so i believe in you and just please believe in yourself i think this is our last stop here we have one final push it's like we've been in labor together <laughs> and you can hear fuego erupting right there it's so loud I'm sure we're gonna hear it all night long, but just looking out at this view, it's insane. Like it gives me vertigo looking down there, seeing where we started, the mountains and the clouds in the distance. I am just so proud of us. So here we go, last final push, let's do it. Oh my gosh, look right in front of us there. The Twigo just erupted. I miss the noise, but goodness look at it that's what we came here for right there wow volcan fuego oh my gosh and look at those clouds oh adam i wish you were here it's all right though you're here with us in spirit <laughs> i see the sign for camp right here we have made it Okay, you get you. Okay. Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. Felicidades. 
here one. Oh my goodness! Congratulations! Wow. Worth it. Yeah. Look, they got some seats, and yeah, this is camp right here. We deserve this. Oh Time to sit man. down. Woo! All right, Are there, is there a masseuse up here? <laughs> Get a nice massage. Oh, congratulations. Oh. And right over there, you can see Volcan Agua as well. I wonder what Adam's doing. Hi, Adam. I think I hear Heidi. Hi, Heidi. I miss you. I hope you're having the best time. Wow, sitting down, just enjoying this view. It seems so surreal. It seems like heaven. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. You're looking out over the clouds and I've never been anywhere so beautiful. I can honestly say that. This is our camp here. There's a bunch of little tents and some structures. I'm staying in the first one with three other ladies. They assigned that for us. All right, and this is home for the evening. Let's check this oh. out. There's four of us in here. <laughs> We're gonna have some body warmth. There you go. Just had some lunch. It was really nice. If you have any allergies or anything, like I'm gluten free, they prepared a nice gluten free meal with chicken and some vegetables. And I haven't been to the toilet yet, but it's right down here. It looks like it's just like a little shack. Behind me is the toilet. Inside, they have built a sort of toilet out of wood, but then it just drops onto the ground. So nothing fancy here. Bring your own toilet paper. Don't forget that. I am extremely filthy. So I brought some wet wigs, so I'm gonna clean up as well. And then up here, there's a sign and there's a couple hammocks and it says that we are at 3,600 meters. Right now I'm gonna attempt to get into this hammock right here. It is quite gravelly. So you really gotta watch your step. Oh, look, there's two. Hey, there's one for you. <laughs> I love it. Oh, hammocks, they're always so difficult. Wow. <laughs> and while I'm up here just enjoying these views, I can't help but think of how grateful and blessed I am, especially for this community and the support that you give us. And so while I'm up here, I'd love to give a shout out to our newest patrons, Rosie, Jim, Augusto, Rebecca, David, and Julia. Thank you so much for everything. You made this possible. So this is dedicated to you. You rock. If you would like to join our Patreon community, I will put a link in the description below but I think right now I'm just gonna put my head back and relax like everyone else and just really soak this all in and I'll be seeing you a little bit later So right now everyone is getting ready to go on the hike to Fuego. That's an extra hike that you can add on. I will put the cost right here. I can't remember it off the top, top of my head, but I believe it's an hour and a half. You're gonna go down and up and then you get to walk the rim that I'll show you right over here. And the big draw is you can get really close to the lava. But I'm just gonna stick back here. I heard that you can see it from camp. So let's hope that we can. And I gotta save these legs for the morning, but hey, good on everyone else for doing this very ambitious and while everyone is doing that hike up to fuego i thought i would show you what i brought in my bag i know i looked at a few blogs before i came to just you know you want to be prepared when you come up here starting with a hat definitely gonna need that for the sun sunscreen for sure you're gonna want to bring some snacks with you because you're gonna get quite hungry they do provide a lunch for you like i said earlier which is really nice but extra snacks never hurt don't forget your toothbrush and toothpaste <coughs> excuse me let's see what else is in here oh also it gets really dusty so you might want to bring something to cover up your mouth for the way up um it wasn't too bad with us but this could also be sun protection i am getting quite burnt up here you have to remember at altitude you're gonna get some even more sun wet wipes to clean yourself up and then toilet paper or I just brought some Kleenex um, to use for that situation. Also warm clothes so I got a nice long sleeve 
you're gonna need a lot of water. I brought four liters of water. I think three could be okay. And then I also brought Gatorade. So, you know, some sort of sports drink to fill you up, but you definitely need enough water. And then a warm winter hat. We got toothbrush. You wanna have some fresh breath in the morning when you're going up to sunset. I did bring a windbreaker as well, even though I rented that really nice heavy jacket. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this, but I also got some nice wool socks from the secondhand market. Um, in the central market, it's called Paca, I believe. And then I brought a change of clothes because I'm gonna change out of this, these sweaty clothes, and get into those. Let's see what else. You're gonna wanna bring your camera, of course. Extra batteries, make sure they're all charged. Tripod would be great if you wanna get some time lapses like I've gotten today. I also brought a little light. Also, the more you bring, the more you're gonna have to carry up. And this bag was not easy to bring up. It was quite heavy. Um, I would recommend getting a bag that has hip straps and also straps right here for support because I was constantly, you know, like having to hold it like this because it was just really wearing on me. But the walking sticks definitely came in handy. Oh, and one last thing. I brought, so I have my phone obviously, but then I brought a little battery pack just in case um, because there aren't any plugs up here and you might want to recharge that. So yeah, hope that helps you. Oh, and also chapstick with SPF and lots of it because my lips are already, they're feeling it. But yeah, hope that helps you when you um, are planning your trip up here. And I think it all came in handy. I don't know if I'm gonna use everything, but I think we did good. So thanks to all those blogs online that detailed their trip and what they brought. And I heard something we're all gonna be excited for. I heard chocolate, chocolate. And it looks like, yeah, he's got the hot chocolate right down here. Look at that. Ooh, gracias. Wow, does it get any better? Amazing. I'm really hot, <laughs> so be careful. I'm just enjoying my hot chocolate, and then look who came over here. And you know what? I'm gonna give him some of this steak right here. Oh, just one more! Oh my gosh, he's so skittish. Here you go, babe. Aww. I'm not gonna hurt you. There you go. <laughs> Better enjoy that. <laughs> I know he is. Gotta take care of the dogs too, you know, they, they helped us get up here with their cuteness. I just walked over a little bit and there's another camp up here and from this view and you can see even more like there's a volcano agua right here there's another one behind it another volcano in the distance and then fuego directly in front of us here i feel like all the camps just have such a special view it is already getting a little cold so i'm gonna head back and put some warm clothes on as you can see i am all bundled up got my hat got my gloves and got my jacket it even comes equipped with a nice furry hood brings me back to middle school <laughs> and when i'm looking out here our group you can see they have made it to the ridge there they look so tiny like little ants but you can see them they're looking out i can just imagine the sunset that they're seeing right now i can see it through here a little bit but from up there it has to be out of this world you can see behind me the colors are coming in you got the yellows and the pinks and the oranges it's just such a magical time right now so so if you got the energy, definitely do it. I'm not regretting my choice as it's nice to just sit back here and relax a little bit. Well, if anything else happens this evening, I will clue you in. I will let you know about it. If not, I'll see you bright and early, what, 3.30 to ascend to the top, to the peak here. So yeah. All right. Talk to you in a bit. Buenos dias, good morning everyone. It's about 4 a.m. right now and we are just waiting to start our summit to the peak. Last night I probably got an hour of sleep, unfortunately, between, you know, the explosion 
lions which sounded like thunder and then the dogs barking and a little snore off going <laughs> between a couple of people and my excitement it was just hard to sleep but it's all right I am just I'm just like I said so excited to get up to that summit last night after I talked to you we had some dinner and then roasted some marshmallows on the fire and just enjoyed the massive explosions of fuego it was intense so so beautiful I got to practice practice taking some pictures some long exposures so I hope you enjoy these right here it was just really fun and so yeah now everyone is up at the front and we are about to take off so come along and here we go super steep it's like gravel that you're walking through so it's almost like you're walking you know on sand trying to get up a lot harder yeah and very windy and cold And it's pretty crazy because we are just walking on the side of the volcano here. It just goes straight down, so you really wanna watch your step. They said we're about halfway or more. We got about 45 minutes left. You see the sunrise a little bit, so that's kinda pushing me through to make it up there. We're almost there. This last, this last bit about killed me. My lips are frozen, my face is frozen. We made it! <laughs> Barely, but we did it. And we're up here, it's so windy. So windy. It's freezing, but the sun is coming up. How beautiful is that? So pretty. Oh my gosh. Are you proud of yourself? I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not running down. <laughs> we're proud. Yeah. And our final little walk is over to the other side so we can see Volcan Fuego in all its glory. Whew, I feel like I'm on top of the world. Thank you so much for your support. I couldn't have done it without you. I felt you the entire way. And I got a little surprise too when we get up here. So <laughs> I'm already getting emotional. <laughs> I brought someone else with us today that uh, helped me get through too. So we'll honor her. <laughs> so I just picked a spot right here. Our group sat down, claimed a rack, and we're just gonna watch the sunrise together. So enjoy it with me. This is a reward, baby. Let's enjoy it together. I brought somebody with us or a little bit of somebody with us. I brought a little bit of my sister's ashes with us today. And that's And the sun it just peaked up as I said that. And I can't imagine a more beautiful place to lay a bit of her to rest. It's otherworldly up here it's like heaven and it just yeah I think this is a wonderful spot to to do this I've never spread our ashes this is gonna be my first time but I plan to you know I have more and as we go throughout this journey she's always with me I know she is and so I'm gonna scatter a little bit of her everywhere because she she never got to see the world like this but I know she's with me and so this is for you Heather this is to you thank you for always supporting me and being there I feel you everywhere I am so I thought that your ashes could mix well be with the ashes you know up here from Fuego you're always a force and you still are there's dogs barking and she loved dogs and they're just right over here too hanging out chilling Whew. 
Thanks for being a part of this, everybody. One of the most beautiful sunrises of my life. All right, time to go back down. <laughs> No more wind and the sun is on my face now. This feels amazing. It's kind of shuffling down right now because it is quite dangerous going down. I'm sure it's gonna be hard going all the way down, but we got this. We go back to camp and get some breakfast now. This is honestly like the best part right here, coming down like this. Feels like you're skiing through this. You gotta be careful though. You gotta really bend your knees and lean back so you don't topple forward. I actually fell when we first started doing this at the top. Whew. But yeah, this has been really handy. This, the mouth covering for the dust. So as you can see, it's very dusty. But what an absolutely remarkable view coming down. Just like that, through the dust, we are back. And look at this. Wow. That's a nice welcome back to camp, huh? Wow. We did it. I am so proud of us and thank you for your support. I'll admit it, there were multiple times throughout this journey that I wanted to give up, but I didn't because of you, Adam and my sister. But wow, you know, I just checked my body. I am so dusty. I don't think I've ever been this dusty in my life. I cannot wait to shower. My fingernails are just caked in dirt. I got a big scrape on my knee from when I fell this morning on the mountain. There's some other cuts on my hand over here but you know what these are all just marks of a warrior so yeah I think right now I'm gonna go down have breakfast and then we're gonna head back down the mountain <laughs> wow yay best feeling ever <laughs> get a ride back to our place and you know what I'm doing for the rest of the day I am getting in that shower and then I'm getting in the sheets and just relaxing because we deserved it. I think that's what you should be doing too today. But yeah, thank you so much again for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to bling, 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 bling the bell. <laughs> I hope you're happy with that one, Adam. <laughs> Probably not. You know he wants me to scream it. Bling, 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 bling the bell. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Adios.